Hello and welcome back to Kara Cup number one. Uh, this is the last game from round four of this tournament. And it's gonna be me, of course, which is always a little bit awkward, I gotta say. And it's kinda nice because I like I know what my thought process was and I can kinda review the game sort of. Um, but it's also really awkward because it's me, and so I don't wanna talk too well about myself or anything because then I feel like I I'm full of hubris. But hopefully I'll get over it. Here I am spawning in the south with my with my colors which are objectively the best colors in the game as I get way too close to them and as you can see I'm already moving out across the map because that's what I do every time up in the north it's Rampa Frolic. This is going to be a Galzian versus Galzian matchup which are always pretty exciting. They involve a lot of sand skimmer micro, things like that um... Rampa Frolic going for a bit more of an economic opener as he produces salvagers also from his production cruiser here. This is totally fine um... but he'll have to deal with my early aggression as I come in. Fortunately this is a very good scanner position right here and he's gonna, uh, he's gonna catch this army moving in right here. So that's very good for him. He knows what's coming. He's not gonna be surprised by this at all. I need to put my scanner down right here, which gives me some vision of this sort of flanking area. And I'll probably kill off this scanner before too long. Sand skimmer is already beginning to come out, as you can see. Now Robert Frelick is pushing his production cruiser out here. I would assume that means he's gotten. No, he's moving back. So probably. He wanted to push it out there, maybe do some early aggression, but then saw that I was already here and just backed away. Um, he is now beginning to make sand skimmers of his own though, which is good. Because he's gonna need that to contest this fight going on here in the middle. This scanner is gonna get plinked down very, very slowly. Here's a sand skimmer from for like it's... Uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, probably good for him to run out there. After all, there were two of them right here. I was wondering if maybe he could get some like high ground, but doesn't look like it from that pass right there. Um, his carrier has already moved off the resources, and I think this is probably a mistake here. Probably he wants to keep the carrier on the resources until I start pushing in, because then that's when the carrier can actually be useful. Um, taking a little bit of damage from that carrier just now, actually. No upgrades have come in, I believe, for either side. Yeah, no upgrades for either side. Although, they certainly will. Uh, of course, when you're playing, you know, lots of sand skimmers against lots of sand skimmers, upgrades are key. Um... One reason why players these days are saying that the Con F are generally better in the early game than the Galzian are is because this base runner right here can't really do anything, but I certainly don't know where it is. I have no idea where it is. In fact, this game, I kind of figured that he had retired his base runner because I didn't see it here. Whereas in reality, it was down here this whole time. Of course, the Con F base runner, that's a real danger because it can make blast drones and just kind of cheese all of your salvagers out, which is really painful. So, uh, that's an interesting little tidbit there, I guess. As you can see, I'm not taking into rail guns here, and Rampa Frolic still no upgrades on there. I don't see that he's teching up to anything right now either. Oh, armor two just finished for him, so he's got armor two, whereas I do not. Uh, this would probably be a one-sided engagement, then just a little bit for him. I'm getting the armor upgrade right now, and rail gun fabrication will be finished in about ten seconds, which is really going to allow me to push from this position. Whereas before I have rail guns, you know, I'm not really going to be able to push at all. Rampa Frolic seems to know he's got the upgrade lead, but it's only going to last for one second longer. Now I'm on top of him. Oh, look at that timing. Oh, that's super unfortunate for Rampa Frolic. He loses one. Uh, maybe could have lost a second if I'd pushed in there, but it's probably a bit wise to just play this more conservatively. One Sand Skimmer running over here. I like this. You know? Um, in this battle here, like, one unit is not going to make so big of a difference, but it can make a big difference over here where there are none for me. The Sand Skimmers are pushing in here again. They could have maybe gotten the high ground advantage there that uh, one of them's gonna go down actually but I think maybe that could have been actually a fight that they could have taken Assault Railgun's now coming out from the production cruiser he's gonna spot it with his production cruiser it being out here in the middle after all a um, little bit of a scuffle going down here now still upgrade no upgrade advantages but he's losing a lot more units than I am as you can see um, so uh, Romper Frolic like, probably here should just tech up you know once again moving his carrier a bit I don't like that um, oh, this guy, this guy, he thinks he's a hero. You're not a hero, you're dead! Anyway, um, he's gonna push in here, targeting the Assault Relgan, that should really have been pulled back. That Assault Relgan is gonna go down by the cost of how many Sand Skimmers? It's looking like two now. Better Focus Fire could be coming in here. Three Sand Skimmers for an Assault Relgan, four Sand Skimmers, I'm not sure if that was worth it. Then again, I believe more Focus Fire could have been coming from the other side, maybe that would have been a better exchange that way, it's hard to say. Another assault railgun is out once again way too close. I should really just back away here. But I'm not gonna get punished for it this time, and I believe I killed another unit there. How are the units lost looking after actually? 
pretty good. I'm basically a production cruiser ahead right now. I, I like this. Um, speaking of production cruisers, you'll notice that we are both building them. Now, one thing that I love to do when I'm in this kind of a position attacking with assault railguns and stuff is to make like one heavy railgun, which you can see I'm doing right now and it's about to come out. Because if my opponent chooses to go for assault railguns, that thing will basically like murder them. Uh, and if not, I can use it to pressure this carrier actually, whereas assault railguns, you know, they don't really do much damage to carriers. Um, it's not really a good idea to push in there either because they have shorter range, so the carrier will be able to shoot back and they don't really have much health at all. Uh, I heard sand skimmer enhancements coming online here. It's armor versus armor and speed. Upgr oh dear. This is the problem with adding heavy railguns in, is that if they die, they're much more expensive than assault railguns. And this time, he will only be losing two sand skimmers for it? That was, that was clearly a missed micro. Not the best thing right there. Oh, this guy really should also pull back here. I could have I could have probably lost another unit right there. In fact, he gets dangerously low, but he is still alive. He's still kicking. Three assault railguns now out on the field. Now, I was saying earlier, I think Rampa Frog really could just tech up here, right? I mean... Even assault ships, like, they wouldn't really be ideal in this scenario because obviously I already have assault railguns and sand skimmers and whatever. Um, but any unit would be better than just sand skimmers here. You know, one unit, unit composition is not very strong in this game. Uh, although they may be enough to pick off a bunch of assault railguns here. And this heavy railgun will go down again. Oh my goodness. This is painful to watch, especially because it's me. <laughs> Yeah, some, definitely some Miss Micro with the railguns. Like, these guys, what are they doing here? They just back up. They're all gonna go down. That's very painful. However, a lot of Sand Skim is gonna go down in exchange for this, but actually there's two production cruisers here and only one there. The other one's way back at home. This could be a dead production cruiser right here. I mean, I played this game. I know exactly what's gonna happen, but for your entertainment, this could be a dead production cruiser. Maybe yes, maybe no. Uh... <laughs> These sand skimmers are not... okay. I think he has the upgrade advantage here. Yes, he definitely does. He's got not only speed, but also damage, and yet look at how many damaged sand skimmers there are here. Now this looks good, I guess, on paper, but in reality what this means is that all of these sand skimmers are getting shot at rather than just one of them. So all of the sand skimmers you see that are like lower than maybe this much health should really be dead already, but they're not. Uh, focus firing, man. Focus firing is so important. And here come some assault railguns. Hopefully this one won't just charge in and die. I guess we'll have to see. I, okay, I gotta say, I really like how Rampa Frolic has gone into upgrades. But he could definitely have killed a production cruiser, in my opinion, if he had... Yeah, like, this guy even almost got out of there. He definitely could have killed a production cruiser if he'd focus fired on these sand skimmers. Um... Gotta say, I'm kind of appalled at my lack of micro skills there with those railguns, but I have micro the sand skimmers very nicely to keep them all alive, as you can see. Uh, meanwhile, score lines two to one. I could activate this guy, but when there's big battles going on here, that's a bit difficult, I guess. These production cruisers pushing out a little too far, but they're not going to take too much damage. The sand skimmers can definitely screen for them. These assault railguns are making an interesting noise here. I think they're making the noise that they would make if they were like, if I was zoomed way in on them, except from far away. It's kind of a strange audio bug that we sometimes get in this game. Uh, the upgrade advantage still exists, and I'm indeed... Okay, so I am researching Sand Skimmer rating now, although getting fleet capped again, I always do this. Um, I have to apologize for that one. But once again, the focus fires is not coming in. Look how many different targets there are here, whereas all of these guys targeting one guy, then targeting one more guy. Um, I say as we see them clearly not targeting all the same person, but that's because I'm here uh, microing the assault railguns now. <laughs> you know, just trust me. Um, the carrier trying to get involved too, but I'm sure he's too far away. Yeah, I think the carrier getting involved is a good move, but only if you're, like, over here rather than over here. Um, heavy losses on both sides, but it looks like I'm going to come out on top of this, which, I mean, oh, and damaged upgrades now coming in as well. I really should not have come out on top of that fight. There was, you know, double the production here. Sure, I had some more units coming in from back here, but um, definitely Rampa Frolic had the lead there, but somehow it just did not, you know, compute to an actual lead because he uh, wasn't focus firing there, so none of my units actually died. 
And now all of his are gone. There goes the last couple of sand skimmers there. There's only three left here, and if these production cruises go down, which it's now beginning to look quite obvious that they will, uh, the military production... F Is he retiring them? He's Okay, actually, that's pretty smart, I guess. Anyway, wh what I was saying was the military production for Ron Frolic goes down by half if those die. What I was saying is he was retiring his production cruiser that was already damaged, like, in case he could barely get it to its carrier before it, the production cruiser died, then he would, like, get resources for it rather than just losing the unit. That's actually... that's pretty cool. I have to remember that. Anyway, small things. The big thing is he's getting destroyed now. Um, these assault railguns are in the base doing whatever the heck they want. Uh, they're gonna get down the last production cruiser, and we know what that means. No more military production from Rumpa Frolic until he gets another one out. Uh, which generally doesn't ever happen in this kind of a scenario. And now there's just gonna be some heavy railguns getting produced. Um, third base being taken now from my side of the field. This is just kind of, you know, not the kind of game that can actually be come back from, so... Unfortunately, that is going to be GG for him. Now he's retiring his salvagers. That's a little bit more suspect. I guess because he knows it's game over, but a lot of players don't want to just, like, GG out of the game and leave because they like, you know, watching the carrier explode. <laughs> um, it looks pretty cool, so I'm okay with that. And I guess we can watch it as well. So I turn on glass mode, as they call it. This guy's doing so much damage, I'm sure. Actually, they do a significant amount of damage, but not enough to kill this thing alone. But, you know, there's heavy railguns coming in from all over now. Yeah, you can't see them, but I assure you they are there. Um, <laughs> and pretty soon this will be a dead carrier. Even the sand skimmers want to get a piece of that. Now producing base runners. <laughs> I think the idea there is that you can delay the inevitable a little bit longer with base runners because, uh, you know, they can heal your carrier like that for like two seconds before they die. <laughs> I think they've they've probably done more net healing to my sand scares than to his carrier, but that is okay. I'm gonna tell the town now. A little bit less than half. You know, I've always kind of wondered, like, what are these things? Artifact teleporters or something? I don't know. What is it that delineates this extraction zone? Anyhow, back to the action, though. That is gonna be one dead carrier. And admittedly, it wasn't the most clean of games. I mean, like I was saying, Rumpel Frolic definitely had a window where he could have won this one, I'm f I feel quite confident in saying. Um, but, you know, just lack of focus fire uh, just meant that that, you know, did not equate to a win. Um, I'll say it once again for all of those of you who play this game. If you got a whole bunch of sand skimmers against a whole bunch of sand skimmers, select them all, tell them to attack one guy, one guy, one guy. In fact, you can make it a little bit more uh, efficient as well. You can put your attention somewhere else if you do control, which I'm holding down now, and shift. Attack, 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 attack. And then after he kills this one, he'll then automatically target this one, this one, this one, this one. Um, and that way you don't even need to be looking at your sand scares. Like, for instance, there was one part where I I mentioned that my focus fire was no longer coming in because I was microing some assault railguns. That's kind of not a very good excuse for me because I could have done the shift clicking method um, and then I wouldn't even have to be microing the sand skimmers, they would do it automatically. So, I mean, it seems like a small thing, I guess, but it makes like a massive difference. Uh, you know, I've seen A Game Anks, for instance, win a fight with like five sand skimmers against ten because he's focus firing and the opponent isn't. So, do it, it's good. Um, but that's a little beside the point. That is the game over, and I will take another point under my belt. This puts me now at three points as well as Garmelator, I believe. So, tense action right there. Anyhow, I will get back now with round five from this tournament. Round four is over. Uh, yeah, that's that. Nothing more to say about it. So, see you then.